Hey guys, thanks for joining us. On this video, I want to go through Craig's various top flirts and see what makes them so irresistible to women. What kind of techniques we can tap into that uh, he uses for sexual bantering and how he keeps his conversation so interesting with lots of wit and uh, lots of humor. So uh, let's jump into it and check out these videos. You look fantastic. Thank wow. you. I That's a lovely dress. Not diaphanous, but still lovely. <laughs> well, I did it for you. I don't you know. It's got a, a bit. It looks like part of you's in prison. A little bit. <laughs> well, it's a late, late show, so it is. there's it's no fun. kids watching. It's fine. I think, well, you'd think that, but then I get these emails and tweets from people saying, oh, my seven-year-old kid loves your show. I'm like, you, you should let them see this show. That's, well, that's, see, that's their parents' fault. It's not our fault. You're right. Yeah. So I shouldn't feel guilty in any way? No, I don't. I don't either. Okay, good. I do feel a little bit guilty. <laughs> well, but I feel guilty all the time. I'm a Scottish Protestant. We feel guilty all the time. Really? But that's like a European thing. It's very pessimist and like guilty and. No, no, I, there's Americans that feel guilty too. It's true. Some. <laughs> do you feel guilty? No, I'm okay, but I'm not. Well, I just. I, well, I'm American now, but I'm. I'm yeah. What do you mean you're American now? I just became an American last year. No, Congratulations. Two years ago. Yeah, we, I think we talked about this last year. Yes, I think we did. Yeah, yeah, where are you from originally? Argentina. Ah, oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. We, <laughs> we did talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's a long way. It is a long way. Have Actually, you been back? Uh, no, it's been it's been a really long time. It's been like 10 years. Oh. Yeah. I've eventually. never been to Argentina. I know. I actually just went to your country. America? Uh, no, your first country. <laughs> oh, Scotland? Yes. Yeah, we went there? <laughs> yes. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fantastic. It was, uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very nice. Was it raining? Um, it, it, I mean, there were some days that uh, were raining, especially in the Isle of Skye and Highland, the Highlands. Oh, with the yeah. Western Isles, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it was a, a little bit, but it was, I mean, it was amazing. Very nice. Absolutely People gorgeous. are very nice up there. They are, they're beautiful. Talk a little bit like this, though, don't Yeah, it was a little hard to understand. <laughs> the first few days, I was like, ooh. Yeah. I have no idea what it just said. <laughs> no, I know. It's like going to a different country up there. Do you yeah, know what they call it? <laughs> I suppose it is, do you? Well, it's right, me, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, clearly. if I went to Argentina and went, what the hell? Well, I don't speak Portuguese. Clearly. It's weird, yeah. Portuguese. Where did you go to Scotland then? You went to the West Isles. Um, I went, yeah, we, uh, two of my girlfriends, uh, we... Three had, girls touring Scotland? Three girls driving, oh, just man. going at, yeah, Glasgow, <laughs> Inverness, Portree, Isle of Skye, Wood, Dead. That's where I'm from, you know. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Nice. I, we just spent, like, an hour there. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just at lunch and we're like, all right, we gotta go. Where, where did you have lunch in Glasgow? Oh, God, I don't remember. You don't? No idea. I forgot. Yeah. We didn't know anything about Glasgow, so we put it on the GPS, like, okay, take us to the nearest. And the Glasgow, the, the GPS was like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glasgow's got a terrible reputation in the it, UK. Uh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. There were so many sad people. It was really, I mean, maybe it was just a really sad day for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much sad people, like, but there's jolly people there, too. But then too. we went to Inverness, which was like, I, I don't know, it was like such a charming town that I was like, all right, well. Well, that's because the Loch Ness Monster is right there. That's right. right there. That's true. Did you see any uh, monsters? Uh, no, I took a picture and it was just my finger, but it looked really real. <laughs> it was great. Maybe that's what people have been doing for years. Probably. Did you yeah. go underwater with your finger and do that? <laughs> Indeed, I took the other boat. It's no, very, very. Do you, so you travel around with your girlfriend's house? I did. Oh, it was nice. it was beautiful. And then one of my, my best friends, it was her birthday, and we ended up going to the fairy pools in the um, Isle of Skye in the, the Highlands. And it was just... I've never been there. And then we took her to a distillery, which was great. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what kind of whiskey was it you were? Talisker. Talisker, yeah. yes. So I've was, heard yeah. of their product. Yes. <laughs> in fact, what they made them famous made a loser out of me. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. I like whiskey. Do you like whiskey? I mean, I'm not. A, it's not my first thing on the menu, but I. I What's I your first it. thing on your menu? Well, see, I'm not. A, I'm such. I'm. I'm such a beer wine girl. That's yeah. all right. No, it's great. I like yeah, it. Yeah. I what kind of beer do you like drinking? Don't they? What kind well, of well, generic? We were, well, mm. no, no, no. I like. Well, especially when we were traveling. Like, I like to. Tr you know, I like to drink whatever local beer, food, whatever. Have you ever been to Germany? They've got I beer there. Not oh, yet. Oh man. Not yet. They drink beer out of giant gallon tanks. <laughs> I don't just go, oh, it's okay. amazing. Okay, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they drink a lot of beer in Scotland too. Um, yeah, I had this wonderful beer. I forget the name, but it's that the Isle of Skye beer, and it was just. It I was don't know great. that beer. Yeah, I, I never idea. got that far. 
Yeah. It was beautiful. It was magical. Stoked at the whiskey. <laughs> well, yeah. Was that your vacation then? And then you went back um, to Dallas? Yeah, well, we were, well, we were promoting uh, Dallas in London, and then we, we literally uh, just, uh, we took, we rented a car. And, that, uh, this is like the plot of an American werewolf in London. Well, yeah. Were you attacked at any point? Well, not really. Did you go to the moors and then stray off the paths and then one of you's missing? Not really, every... but we did take the cemetery um, uh, tour in Edinburgh. There was... I thought we were... Yeah? And? It's very frightening. Not really. I wish it would have been a little bit more... It'd be more frightening if I was there. Uh, that's <laughs> probably true. Yeah. <laughs> That's, oh, it can be well, bad. it's funny because you've, even in, like our tour guide, um, I think I, the first like five or ten minutes of him talking, I'm like, I have no idea what he's saying. Yeah, but your ear gets attuned to it though, right? You start to understand it. Well, no, while. yeah, yeah, you get yeah, into it. And you're it's like, not oh, really I get it. a different language. No, it's no, just it's just talking the dialect, very yeah. quickly in a dialect. Yeah, so yeah. we thought of his lies. We don't know what they're talking about. And then oh, yeah. you start talking, you slow down, you start, and it starts to become like this, and you seem like you can understand it. Yeah, exactly. Or at least I pretend well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I just like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, it's a, it's a common thing in Scotland. Yeah. I sometimes don't understand what people are saying. More importantly, though, they don't understand me, which is very bad for a comedian. <laughs> yeah. That is bad. Yeah, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely magical. I, I absolutely loved it. It's oh, good. And how's things in Dallas then? Having a nice Dallas time? Dallas is great. We're still shooting. We uh, have to go back tomorrow for, for, we have like seven more episodes left to shoot. Wow, and that's a yeah. lot. I know. Well, they ordered 15 this year, which was nice. That's great. So you Fine buy a house. Me. You go yeah. buy a house? Uh, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you you going to buy a wooden house? I'm probably going <laughs> to buy a little cabin. You buy a house in L.A. or a house in Dallas? Oh, L.A. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I've been, I live here. I've been here for like 12 years. Yeah. Really? Dallas is just temporary for, for work, which All is right. great. I, I absolutely love it. We're having a good time. Very big airport. Show's great. And you're there. Huge. <laughs> you can't see Dallas here, but you've got to see Dallas Fort, Fort Worth. Fort Worth, yeah. People go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, because there is another um, Dallas airport in Dallas. It's a smaller. Ah, uh, there is that. Yeah. Too. Yes. That. Love Field. Love Field. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> you know things. <laughs> You'd think, and yet your uh, the previous guest said that this was not an educational show, <laughs> and yet there are two airports in the Dallas metropolitan area. Everyone. Well, actually, there's. She's been here 14 times, so I can't really. Many times yeah. you've been here. This is my second time. Well, you better bring up your game. I will. Well, next really, time, absolutely. You know, well, I'll bring I'll, like cards and stuff. I'll need we'll more. Test you. Have you got? Uh, did I talk about that tattoo? You before? did. Yes. Can we I see talking, it again? Yeah, because we were talking about yours. Yeah, but that that's that hurts. He said. Well, it hurts when you get there. That doesn't hurt so much, right? Um, a little bit over the bone, <laughs> but that's about it. Yeah, it always hurts there. Yeah, I get it. I think we all learned something, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Fancy an awkward pause? Yeah. Or a quiet moment. Awkward pause. With a quiet moment undertone. Okay. Let's go creepier to make it an awkward pause. Can you be a little creepier? so good at uh, commenting on people's uh, fashion uh, statements and connecting them to something extreme or sexual but moving on so quickly that it doesn't become creepy at all. He's also very good at um, uh, uh, having a lot of different strings so that when one conversation dies off, he just grabs onto the other one and keeps the conversation going in a funny way. And, uh, and at points, even if it's a bit serious, he spins it around to make it even funnier. So, uh, yeah, let's keep watching and see where this goes. Look at you, you look great. I'm a, I'm a bird poop magnet. You are. You've got, you got the red dress on. Birds will go crazy for that. Like, I've never actually been. May I say how lovely your hair is? You may. It's very... Thank you. It's just lovely. I'm just looking at it. It catches... It. There's not a lot of light in here, but it's catching it. There's... Really? I'm, like, blinded. I, there's a lot of light, I think. Really? I'm getting old. I... I, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's 
you, you, but you have people backstage that, that make this possible. I make it sound like I'm in that, you know that Shelley Long movie, Dead Again? Um, yeah. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, she, you know, gets, she, they, she dies and then her husband's a plastic surgeon who like spray paints. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and so that's, that's what the kind of miracles that your staff is working backstage. <laughs> it's actually illegal what they're doing. <laughs> Are you, uh, do you believe in life after death? Um, no, well, I don't really believe that. So what am I supposed to believe now that would make me believe that later? <laughs> that's a big question. I'm trying question. to be specifically, just, I don't believe in life after death. Well, that's okay. That's but fine. that's a very, that's a very, uh, that's a loaded question. Is it? Yes. Did you make it sound sex? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in life after death? <laughs> By life after death, I mean, you mean the French promiscuity. Way. In the French way. <laughs> petit more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, le petit more. That's yes. very different. That's very, that's, that's. that, the literal translation of le petit more is, of course, the small death. Right. But what Which it means is. Of course, is, the French attitude towards sex. Right. It means orgasm. It means orgasm. In fact. America. <laughs> I'm European, I knew that. They gave, <laughs> they gave us that and the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Those well, were their gifts. Well, and, and uh, no, fries are from Belgium, aren't they? Yes. Belgium is everything bad for you. Fries, chocolate, waffles. Black tar heroin. Black tar heroin. They <laughs> sell that out of a food truck now. Yeah, you the you can get them from vending machines. Yeah. Black tar heroin, yeah. That's right. It gets it's like stuck chocolate, a bit. black tar heroin. <laughs> it's so different. I like dark chocolate and black tar heroin. What should I do? Have, have you, you ever been to Belgium? I have, uh, I have been to Belgium. Um, Belgium I, was a was a brief sort of fleeting two day trip for me. Mm -hmm. Well, I was stunning away. I lived, and I don't know if this is a, a sore point or an amazing point for you, but I lived in Scotland for about a year. Ooh, that's I love Scotland. Is my I, I, <laughs> and I saw your your series that you did. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually I know where the revolver bar. Yeah. <laughs> See, I I I don't. I, I know this, you're, this is hard to believe. I don't know where the revolver bar is. <laughs> but have you been to the revolver bar? Me. I haven't been, but I know it's, it's in an area that is, uh, do you know, it's called the Pink Triangle? That's the area. <laughs> I can imagine what part of town it is. Yeah. 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 But it's, uh, yeah, and so uh, I lived in Edinburgh, though, which is sort of, I found it much more international and, and didn't feel quite as Scottish to me. As, as Glasgow, I really didn't understand anything anyone was saying. Yeah, so uh, Glas the Glasgow accent can be very difficult to understand. I sometimes go on and I'm like, I didn't get a word. I can't uh. understand. Um, people generally do that with their own handwriting. I can't read my own handwriting. I should have been a doctor. Do you do your uh, writing uh, written down? Like, do you handwrite your books? Uh, no, I now I, I write stuff to myself in the middle of the night that, that makes no sense on the Blackberry. You write books on First the Blackberry? I have a Blackberry. Let's, it's, it's, it's the equivalent of saying I have, a, I have sort of quill and ink. <laughs> the situation. Let I me get, just I get, get out my Blackberry, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> they sell it with that, actually. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, um, what's an ebook then? What's the difference what's, between an ebook and a regular book? Well, when, when a regular book and a computer love each other very, very. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Uh, the, it is only available as an ebook. Um, it's a little bit shorter. It's a one giant long essay that it's actually a piece of a story I told her last time, so I won't repeat myself. But it's about climbing up a volcano and falling. Oh, I remember that story. Yes, and you actually, I had a band aid on my knee, and, and you implied that maybe my injury wasn't so bad, and there's still a scar there. Let me see. Okay. I know I'm just looking at your whole leg. <laughs> I used I used your injury for my own perverse. I was like, wow, that that band aid turned into a little pity more for me. <laughs> She's just got it's just bleeding. Yeah, it's like Carrie. Um, but anyway, oh, no, it's not like Carrie. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, you okay, can't do that. no, that's bad. But um, yeah, so so it's basically a shorter version of. Uh, do you a think when you're writing, no, this is this is for an ebook, so I'm going to write differently than I'm going to write for a paper ebook? No, you sort of take the breaks off a little bit because you can write as long as you want. Instead, I sort of thought of it as a longer magazine piece. So a magazine piece, you have certain restraints. Uh, Magazine's sort of like a papery blog from the olden days, isn't it? Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, they melt horses like the one you have backstage, and they use wax, and they cover the... Is that, how, is that how they make magazines shiny? They yes, that's why their magazines horses? make no money anymore, because they're using all the horses. <laughs> 
I had no idea that magazines sure. were melting down horses. <laughs> Is that true? It's like one, Any specific one magazine? One at a time. All of the How many horses, horses to make a magazine? <laughs> <laughs> like working there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> Could we have a saucer of milk for Sloan, please? <laughs> I would say I'm a cat person. I would. I would take. Are you a cat person? I. I no, by that do you mean time. do you have a cat or do you dress up as a, a cat? cat costume. <laughs> <laughs> that is very important since we're talking about the mascot that you have in the back. No, I am a cat person. It took me a while to actually admit. I, I go both ways. <laughs> much, much as they do with the revolver in, in Glasgow. <laughs> uh, you're, so you're certainly welcome here, young lady. <laughs> I do. I grew up with all sorts of animals, and I have a cat. And I think the most the most popular thing I ever wrote by far was an op-ed piece for the New York Times about how I was sick of sort of a, being sort of an apologist, a feline apologist. That I it's not my fault my cat's so cute. I really like her. Well, there are many women who feel the same way. I know, and they're crazy. But you mustn't be ashamed. There is I'm nothing not. wrong. This is national television. National television, and you're out here <laughs> saying how much you love your cat. <laughs> your choice, Sloan. Your choice. She's um, she's got a lot. She's a. You're she's gonna tell me about it. your cat, then? <laughs> you're gonna tell me a story about your cat? Oh, she's so cute. She knows where the door handle is. is oh my god. If I had pictures, it would be really Oh, that would be great. I yeah, yeah. Yeah. On your Blackberry. Look, my cat. <laughs> you can sort of see that's a tooth. That's a tooth. There you go. That's Listen, we're out of time. What do you, what do you fancy? Uh, open pause, mouth organ, uh, big cash prize, or something else? How, whoa. How much is in the big cash prize? 50 bucks. For, in and what do you have to do? <laughs> What are you prepared to? No, no, no. <laughs> very, very, the, as with magazines, the most minimal amount possible. Well, you, could, uh, you could answer a question. Okay. Or you can guess what's in my box. Okay. Or you can imagine what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking. Okay. Those all seem like they're worth about $25. Can I take half of it? <laughs> The questions can be pretty tough. Okay, I will take the cash prize, please. What time is it, Charles? Day? All right. Okay. Question box, Her Majesty the Queen. Her Majesty the Queen. All right, okay. We have imagined a scenario in which Her Majesty oh the Queen has been <laughs> falsely imprisoned. Okay. Oh, God. It's her jubilee year. She is mm. upset. She is distraught. Yes. Now, you have to ask yourself, what is Her Majesty the Queen thinking? Why did I not work out like Pippa when I had the chance? <laughs> that is exactly what I paid. 50 American dollars. No. Oh. Yeah, he's, uh, he's always commenting on some kind of uh, fashion of the, of the guests, whether it is the hair, or a piece of clothing, or whatever it is, and uh, complimenting them or making it funny. But he's also really good at, uh, at having double meaning comments and conversations going between uh, seriousness, funny, and, uh, and sexual. And uh, the thing is that he doesn't stay long enough in a sexual comment to make it awkward or creepy, he moves on quickly, making it funnier, and just keeps going with it. Um, so he's really good at bantering sexually with the with the guest and, and the interaction with the with the uh, with the people in general. So yeah, let's keep watching. This is getting interesting. The book is like, like a, a very very, very long, long tweet, <laughs> <laughs> but it's very clever and funny, and so is she. Please welcome the adorable Tina Fey. Who you are, 
you're just being sarcastic. <laughs> you look lovely, Tina. Oh, you look absolutely lovely. Very, you're very, you. very voluptuous. Well, and, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, uh, our... Is this one coming? Mm. Uh, the end of the summer. Nice. Yeah. And do you know what it's going to be? A baby? It's going to be a <laughs> A werewolf. Yeah, no, yeah, it's a werewolf. All the kids love werewolves now. They're the, the smooth werewolves that don't wear shirts. <laughs> the werewolves that exercise a lot. Yeah. yeah. Do you think, would you? No. <laughs> this looks nice. Oh, thank you. No, this looks very good, and I'm halfway through it. Look, here's where I put my oh, paper clips. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I put it here because this means a lot to me. Remembrances of being very, very skinny. <laughs> Memoir, but essays, isn't it? Yeah, just sort of bits and pieces. Because I mean, my life's not interesting enough to tell the whole thing from beginning to end. It's not really that much happening. I keep looking for the rehab chapter. Where's the rehab chapter? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I realize that most good books have a lot of rehab and one night stands, and I ain't got none of that. Or you've got none of it in the book. In the book. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe that's for the next book. <laughs> I'm trying a new way of talking. What do you should, think? I think you should commit to it forever. Yeah, I'm going to talk like this from now on. Especially when I'm in Norway. You ever been to Norway? No. Really? I don't even think I've been near it. So you don't like Norwegians is I what you're say saying. That. I didn't say that. All right. Because that would be odd on a night when we are celebrating the people of Norway and their culture for you to come out here and be blatantly yeah. anti-Norwegian. Anti -Norwegian. No. Because what is your background then? Where are the Fays from? Sounds um, like an English name to me. It's actually a German name, supposedly. Uh, my mom's Greek, and my dad is um, half German and, and a little bit Scottish. German and Scottish? Yes. Ooh, an organized drunk. Very <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. But make a list of all the things you have to drink yeah. that day. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to get in a fight. <laughs> Where, where did you uh, grow up? What part? I grew up outside Philadelphia, in the suburbs of... Well, I grew up outside Philadelphia no, as well. Anyone not from Philadelphia. That's true. I grew up outside Norway. Oh, outside. Again, with the yeah. Norway hatred. <laughs> Now, did you find it? Did you find it difficult to write a book about? Uh, oh, oh hang on, right. someone's phone's going. Who's, who's phone someone's old-timey phone is ringing. Oh, yeah, no, no, it sounds like an old-timey phone. It's actually a smartphone. What are you talking about? The phone that was ringing. That was an old-timey phone. I heard it with my own ears. No, it's a new thing. It's an app that they put on. Do you know what apps are? No. They're kind of. They're kind of like tweets, but. <laughs> but do, are you buy do, them? Is you on Twitter? No. I don't. I'm not. I, yeah, I got into it a little yeah. bit. I kind of feel like if I got into it, I would get into I it think too much. You, I think you'd really like it. No, you just don't like heroin. It's not, you know. Okay. I won't, fall, I won't be tweeting and then I'll just fall asleep on the sidewalk. Well, in that regard, it is a bit like heroin, I suppose. But no, well, do, do you write in longer uh, bits, I suppose, like this giant long tweet here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. I guess I just feel like if I had any jokes, I would, I would hold them. But you don't have to. You don't have to be funny on Twitter. That's the that's the joy of it. It's like the show. You don't have to be fun. <laughs> just, just show up is good enough for okay. most people. Yeah. I'm yeah. eating a salad right now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone says that about Twitter. Like that. I don't want to tweet what I eat. I, yeah. Yeah. I what? never tweet what I eat. What do you tweet about mostly? Sex. <laughs> so it's a fiction or a non-fiction. <laughs> Good. Is it fiction? Fictional sex, which is it's the only kind I have right now. Yeah, I got a, I got a little baby I've, running around the house. Yeah, how yeah. old? Uh, two and a half months, nearly three months. Wow. Yeah, a lot of sick on me. And then there's the baby. Yeah. <laughs> what age is your older? Uh, she's five and a half. Five and a half. Well, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, kindergarten. You're, yeah, oh, it's yeah. Fine, it's just you know. getting easy. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you're gonna start it all Back again. Bum wiping business. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a then baby. Then the baby, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're following the rules of the studio. Thank you very much. Do you... Wait! What? Who? I didn't notice this. Yeah. That's Look at your arms in this photograph. <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice that until right now. Yeah, that's, that's a little extra bonus. You buy the book, and then about a week after you own it, you say, wait a minute. Whoa! Do, this is not... You. That's not me. No, because look at your lovely no, they're, they're thin normal. arms. They're normal. 
That was the guy that sat behind me. <laughs> Got paid for the day to sit there. He, he sat behind you and then you just yep. put his arms? So he's a... Uh, I used to be a hand model. I bet you could be. I was ah, actually no. noticing that you were very nice. Yeah, person. very, yeah, but I couldn't get enough hand jobs. You know, <laughs> It was just a joke. It was a, it was pathetic. I wasn't a hand model. You, were, I didn't, you yeah. could have been. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah. No, you're, you're, you're messing with me. No, you've got good hands. Really? Yes. Oh. How many times do you need me to say it? Yes. Really? <laughs> well, you've got nice hands, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they are. They're really? lovely. And I like your uh, your bracelet. Thank you. It's I... quite science fiction, if you don't mind me it saying is. so. It should go around a planet. Or a Tell robot's me. neck. <laughs> Do you uh, do you follow the science fiction? Do you like the Star Wars and I the, uh... grew, grew up a, a Star Wars. Really? Uh, you know, okay, the first three. I don't. Yeah, I know. Don't the... talk about the other ones. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that was about. Yeah. 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 That was bad. That Jar Jar Binks. If I ever meet that thing. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, yeah, was that bad. was incorrect. Yeah, yeah. it's bad. <laughs> hey, uh, we have to take a commercial break. Okay. Are you familiar with those? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What happens is that we uh, stop talking. <laughs> well, we can keep talking. Can we, we can we... actually talk about really dirty things. Yeah. And then when we come back, we have to talk about clean things. OK, good. I'm ready to do that. <laughs> mm. Welcome back, everybody. We were just talking about some dirty things. Woo! Yeah, well, that was pretty dirty, wasn't it? It's was rough, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was rough, but I'm glad we did it. Yeah. And it explained a lot to me. Yeah, yeah, me too. I had no idea that you could actually do that. You can if you have enough rope. Mm. I just thought you would get Hessian burns. <laughs> That's part of the thrill. Yeah, I know. By the way, Hessian burns is one of the greatest poets Scotland ever produced. <laughs> His brother's more famous, but he was good. <laughs> this is you as well? Yes. Oh, look at you. You're adorable. You, yes. It looks like you were uh, part of the Norman invasion of Britain there. Uh. <laughs> I, I look a little bit like um, Christopher Guest in Spinal Tap. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to 11. <laughs> were you, uh, were you uh, uncomfortable as a child? Many comedians, comedians were, uh, you know. Um, I, I mean, I was... A little weird. I had um, uh, like a, a, a colonial lady Halloween costume that sometimes I would just wear after school. Yeah. To relax. So that's a little weird. A little yeah. Weird. yeah. Just to relax. Just come home after school and slip into that. Do you ever? <laughs> do you ever do that now when you come home from work? Just slip into a costume to relax. <laughs> but you, I have a, a large devil costume with no. I don't. No. That's nice, though. Were you nerdy as a kid? Were you into the Doctor Who and stuff? For example, I have a TARDIS. Oh, you do? I used to see Doctor Who a little a little bit. I'm not definitely not a... Uh, Whovian. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, I didn't right. even know that word. No, I'm not either. I love Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it was mostly Star Wars. I had the I had all the um, uh, action figures, and I had a... Somewhere, I still have my parents' house, have a Millennium Falcon that I should probably get out. Yeah. I... And play with. In your... Yeah, all right, yeah. I, I think that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. But do, when you play it, though, can you make the appropriate noises? Because, no disrespect, you're not a boy. You know, so... Yeah. You have to be able to go... <laughs> can you do that? <laughs> no, she no, can't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, no, why is that? I mean, you know... I don't know, because it's true. That Maybe it's what we, the girls took from... What I took from Star Wars was kind of the Han Solo, Princess Leia relationship story. Uh, you know what I mean? Like that, like... No. I'm Han not familiar Solo with that. Is, I've only seen it. <laughs> you, know, you know they kind of like each other and stuff. And Didn't I, notice that. Yeah. No, I just noticed... <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I like that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you follow any of that now? You don't follow any of the uh, geeky stuff? Do you have... You, you don't have a, the Tweety? You don't have a blog? Do you have a blog? Nope, not that I know of. Right. Um, no, I don't have any, any, any internet. A phone? 
I have a phone. There you are. Now, <laughs> does your phone work as a phone and also something else? Like what? Um, you know, like a map thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right. so you have a smart, an, an iPhone. iPhone. An iPhone, yeah. Oh, right. They, they advertise on CBS? <laughs> I have a smartphone. Well, no, Who advertises on CBS? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah, beep that. <laughs> We sometimes... Do you ever cuss at Saturday Night Live when you were doing that? Um, on the air? Yeah. Um, well, I don't... You know, I mean, I presume Off the air, cuss. constantly, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't think... I don't think I ever did. People have occasionally in the past. I think Norm Macdonald did once. I think uh, uh, a few other people have. Yeah, I know Norm. He cusses quite frequently. Yeah, he's very funny. Fun. Very, very funny. Very cussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would be very nervous doing a... Li well, obviously, this show is live, but, you know, I'm doing another... Yeah. Live show, and I'd feel like I should. You should have. Why have you not hosted us now? Oh, well, this is CBS and NBC oh, are our deadly enemy, course. apparently. <laughs> but you I see no sense in that. You know, Jimmy, who you used to work with, who's my direct competitor, I adore Jimmy. He's, yeah. yeah he, did, he does a good show. Turn over and have a look. <laughs> he does a good show, and he's a nice man. He's but very I'm, welcoming. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, I'm meant to have this adversarial relationship. It's yeah. like Romeo and Juliet. Our love is forbidden. <laughs> Well, for more more than for just the network reasons, but the, <laughs> apparently our wives have a problem with it as well. <laughs> yeah, but you see, I, I do you do you? I mean, you satirize network television in your show. Yes. Don't you find the politics? Well, you probably do find the politics of network television preposterous. That's why you wrote this show. Hmm. <laughs> let's, think, let's, let's all think quietly about satire for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go for satire. I like to make things clear. Yeah. <laughs> Make it clear. If you're going to say Lady Camilla Parker Bowles looks like a she horse, like a horse. Say, <laughs> don't be saying, oh, Lady Camilla Parker Bowles. Oh, yeah. Just go right at it. Just say it. Say it. You know, yeah. don't, don't say, why the long face, Lady Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> say it. <laughs> so, a baby in the, uh, at the end of the summer, then? Yeah. Yeah, well, that'll be nice. You'll be, you'll be doing the summer all I'll pregnant. Be swelling yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that'll, be, that'll be hard work. Trundling around. Yeah. Then. Is your man good with the, uh, with the helping out? Yes. Oh, well, that's good. That, yeah, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a renaissance man. He can cook, he can paint, he can, he's a musician. This is a man we're talking about, isn't he? <laughs> is he Canadian or something? No. He's, all old, he's a part Welsh, part hillbilly. Really? Yeah. Sounds awesome, he's actually. He's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You should marry him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Well, we're done. <laughs> so, <laughs> awkward pause or mouth organ? <clears throat> I'm going to go sight unseen and say uh, awkward pause. <laughs> You disappoint me. Did you want? No, that's me doing the awkward pause. I'm leading into it, you know, by saying the disappointment. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look, you're not bad at this. How about? How about we try for the most awkward of all awkward pauses? Smell my finger awkward pause. <laughs> I wouldn't normally spring this on you your first time in the show, but you th I think you got the chops for it. Okay. All right. I like that I don't know what this means, Ben, yet I'm afraid I do know what it means. Just, it means whatever we want it to mean, do you? Okay. All right. So, so he's uh, he's really good at um, uh, at, being, at improvising. He's uh, he's really good at improvising. He has no plan and just comes as he goes with the whole scenario. Whatever happens in the interview, outside the interview, he just grabs onto it, comments on it, and makes a conversation with it, and even makes it funny. Uh, he's also really good at that sexual bantering that I'm talking about. 
and um, and uh, he's really good at making uh, this awkward pauses uh, funny. And when he has nowhere to go, when the when his joke is going nowhere, he automatically grabs onto something different, asks a question, or makes a comment on something else, carrying on. It's like a uh, full of strings, like I was saying. He just grabs onto something different and keeps going in that direction. He changes direction completely, and then later refers back to that when he has another idea. So he's really good at improvising through all of this. So it's just uh, awesome to watch him in action. So yeah, let's uh, let's keep watching and see what uh, what else there is in these videos. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. My next guest is an author. What's an author, Craig? It's like a, a bloggy person without a computer. <laughs> she uh, she wrote this book. It's a bestseller called uh, "I Was Told There'd Be Cake." And uh, how did you get this number? That's not the name. Or maybe that's something she said to me. <laughs> Please welcome Sloan Crossley, everybody. Sloan Crossley. Hi, Sloan. Hi. You look nice. I like that dress. Thank you. You lead with such a, a flattering foot. Well, I, I'm a creepy, pervy guy. <laughs> Well, I'm Let's European. We Thank won you. the Nobel Peace Prize this year, you know. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> all of us. We all get to share in it. We all get it for a day. It's like Powerball. <laughs> People, ch you know, they chip into Powerball. Oh. And, like, it's like an office pool. Except Did you all win? Zero. Did you win? No, I'm not European, nor did I enter the Powerball contest. <laughs> I've won nothing. <laughs> no, you've won the right to call yourself an author. That's true. I was wondering where the other book was, and then it was pointed out to me, in fact, that Jeff has the other copy of your book. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> you what? It should be, um... She, can you read that? Shouldn't it be on an e-reader? For... How dare you. Okay. <laughs> we go back. He's yeah. so attitude. Oh, so much attitude. I, I can't tell you. There are certain <laughs> times during the lunar cycle where he just goes, oh, Ray! <laughs> it's oil. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you been? What have you been up to? Writing books, I take it, huh? Writing books, taking names. Do you take people's names and then no. use them in books later on? That's illegal. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's illegal, but I do. I always change them to something that uh, is, is somewhat related to how I think of the original person. Did you ever, uh, anyone come up to you and say, wait, that's me in that book, that jerk, the, that's me, isn't no, it? No, it's the reverse, actually. Well, yes, yes. That. I see, so what you said was, mm, what you said is wrong, Craig. Actually, when I think about it, it was right, but I'm more comfortable saying you're I'm wrong. So I'm uh... accusing you of things you right. don't do. It's right. my space of, of comfort. Um, no, but it, what's more interesting to me, at least, is when people will read about themselves. I don't write too much, I write more about myself, but they'll read about themselves and um, think, who was that? That's insane. I'm yeah, like, oh, what kind gosh. of crazy creep? That's you. Like, yeah. <laughs> And I don't know. Wait, wait, them. wait. It's, you know, we can't... I'm not in any of those books. It's the copy Jeff has. Really? Yeah. No. It's the copy that's hand inscribed. You can only, you can only read it if you're a robot. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> man. Jeff, you're meant to be supportive of the guests. This is not good. No, I was I talking to you, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Right. Have you been otherwise? Have you been on your travels? Have you been off and around? I've been off and around. Um, I've been, um, honestly, I'm still like kind of like enamored that, that Kristen Stewart was here. It's kind of exciting. I, was I, I too creepy? Yeah. I had to apologize. I no, was, I don't yeah, think I, so. I actually, I like the Twilight movies. They're good. I do. I Good. Well, yeah. I, I, well, I was there. I was, um, I grew up on like Anne Rice, and so they're totally different. I mean, that, I mean, they kind of make Anne Rice look like Dickens, but they're, you know, they're good. <laughs> Are you trying to undo all the work I've been put together? It's I've been working crazy. hard like the Twihards are just I'm thinking about, about the putting their pitchforks down and leaving <laughs> me alone. I, this is the thing, is I'm trying to distract you. I'm trying to take the heat off of you via Jeff and myself. They can they can come after me. No, no, you don't you don't you don't want the the the, the kids that love the vampire movies after you. You don't trust me. You don't want that. They'll make your life a living hell. 
I can't tell you how many times my studio has been TP'd. The TP. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think vampires need toilet paper, though. I don't know. No, vampires. <laughs> no, they, I think they poop. <laughs> the, lesser, the lesser known children's book, do vampires poop? Uh, everybody poops, <laughs> including vampires. That was the secret. Well, asterisk. No, they, um... Well, this is a question I've always wondered, do zombies poop? Because they eat human brains, so clearly they, they poop. They, um, this is, I mean, this is getting really medical. I don't know if, I know the answer. Oh, you do? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is getting medical. I know the answer about the zombie digestive system. They excre it's excreted out the pores like a snake. Sna snakes don't poop? I have no idea about that either. Oh, you made it up? <laughs> Oh, oh, you saw, saw just because you saw the snake? Yeah. You think you're great because you've got glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're smarter than me because you've got glasses. I wear glasses too sometimes. That's not why. It's because of the heels. Because you... Oh, the heels? <laughs> Very good heels. Yeah, no, it's all working, whatever's they're going on. Big, right, yeah. well, they're big. You know, I have huge, giant feet. I was supposed to be, like, a, a supermodel and something went horribly. Like, you know, puppies have big paws. And then they become supermodels? <laughs> Kind of a dog, sure, but yeah, no, they become like a giant. What the hell? What are you doing? <laughs> they, become, they become larger dogs, and I never be grew up. Have you got very big feet? Stick one of them up here. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> they're not that big. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Do you, uh, do you water ski at all? <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, I, they don't, they, they, they're not big. They're not that big. It's one of those things people think get, their, get ideas in their head about things in their body. For example, I think I'm a creepy gray-haired older man. That's not That's true. Not <laughs> exactly. But what right if you just only? Well, that would be good if all the if all of the you know American or, or female uh, you know nervousness and, and feeling bad about your body was focused on like obscure extremities, like your earlobes. Like you only gain weight in your earlobes, or you only like everyone was always just feeling bad. Like if none of this. This, this is fine, and then it was all like, oh, I have that like fat pinky I have to work out. <laughs> That'd be good. Right? And that's what everyone was so stressed about. Working it. out. There would be no more women's magazines, though. That would be but fun. you know, maybe stress is stress, no matter what it was. So if society said you have to have thin pinkies, then right. everyone would be like, oh, I've got to go to the gym. Right. Yeah. Yeah, everyone would be drug addicts. <laughs> right, everyone would be like working their pinky. I know. Sorry. That's true. Are you doing a dirty joke about working your pinky? No! No! Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was in my head, sorry. I, yeah. I was doing it well. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't pure. It was, it was a drug addict joke about people and what they do with their pinkies. What? Isn't that like an 80s, like, an 80s, like, you know, like a thing where you do drugs off your pinky? Am I the first one to say that? <laughs> Pinky. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of time. Uh, do you want a coconut? Uh, I, you don't have to have it now because it's a laxative I found out. Oh, well, that's good news. Wait, what do, you, I, what do you do with the coconut? Uh, you can take it home and uh, draw a face on it or something if you want. <laughs> you can send you... them in the US mail. <laughs> Those glasses are real, aren't they? <laughs> you could. You You're could... like, you'd send a coconut. You can just. Put a, put a, well, you can? Really? Yeah, if you'd like, I can send you back the coconut. You know, why don't we send the coconut around the world like in that movie, Amelie? Okay. <laughs> and we'll get the coconut, we'll draw a face like on it. Like the Expedia Gnome. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like the thing that isn't advertising. <laughs> uh. I don't work for them. All right, let's draw a face Please. on the coconut. All right, little eyes here. There you go. Eyes. Aww. Yeah. And then we'll give it lipstick. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm There's This is happening on TV right, right now. <laughs> oh my god. Like Craig, don't you have one you prepared earlier? No. <laughs> <laughs> you are you're the prop specialist as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually there might be a strike because I'm doing this actually. There you are. Coconut. So, <laughs> take that coconut with you, and then send us a picture of where you go back to New York. Okay. Okay, yeah, send yeah. it, and then we'll start posting the coconut around. It'll be like a thing. Like weird places. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, Crossley, everybody. So, yeah, the, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been great watching Craig Ferguson.
uh, it's just amazing to see his bantering, his sexual double meaning uh, comments, and the way he handles awkward moments and uh, different um, conversation patterns that he has. I think uh, it's just amazing to watch him, and it's so much fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.